September 20th, a day that would live in infamy. When Maddie Roberts created the event, Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, he had absolutely no idea what the effects would be. That one Facebook event created a domino effect that would spawn endless tweets, memes, and copycats, as well as a logistical nightmare for both the military and the Nevada locals. An Air Force spokesperson said that the US Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. Divids, or the Defense Visual Information Distribution Service, a type of media outlet for the United States military under the Department of Defense, tweeted this tweet, which they later apologized for. In my opinion, one of the greatest things that have spawned from this event was the Naruto run, which was featured in tons and tons and tons of memes. And one mad lad even got onto the news. The turnout was nowhere near the 2 million people who said that they were attending on the now deleted Facebook event, and nothing ended up happening with the planned music festival, which was also a letdown. Only about 1,600 people actually showed up in Nevada for the event. Uh, having a very good time, sort of pretending to rush the gates, but not really doing it. I mean, to be fair, no one expected this to be a real thing, though three or more people ended up being arrested. And surprisingly, two of them were from the Netherlands. With all the attention that aliens get in the United States, thanks to Area 51, as well as TV shows and movies such as Roswell and Independence Day, Take my word for it, there's no Area 51. <laughs> there's no recovered spaceship. Oh, excuse me, Mr. President? That's not entirely accurate. What? Which part? Sometimes it's easy to forget that fascination with alien life is not unique to America. In 2015, the US Navy saw what they called unidentified aerial phenomena almost daily, <laughs> with tons of videos too. It's rotating. In fact, it was only on September 18th of this year that they officially confirmed that this is real footage. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. The same phenomenon happened to the Chilean Navy in 2014 and also in 2008 in Turkey. Reports of UFO sightings go all the way back to ancient Egypt, though they continue to be seen even in modern times. Although not nearly as enthusiastic as Americans, Asians have been fascinated with aliens too. Just look at the 2003 film, Save the Green Planet. The 2007 film, Reciclo. And of course, Godzilla. And they've even had their fair share of close encounters. For our post-Area 51 raid special, here are five times that UFOs have been spotted on the Asian continent. February 22nd, 1803. One of the first and most intriguing UFO incidents happened in Japan, in the village of Harayadori, on the coast of the Hitachi province back in 1803. Some fishermen discovered an unknown object that was described as a ship of some sort floating in the water. They brought it back to land, and an attractive young woman exited from out of it. She was around 18 to 20 years old, had red hair and light pinkish skin, wore fancy clothes, and spoke a strange language that no one could understand. She held a small box that she let no one touch, and then she went back into her ship and left. On March 24, 1803, the very next month, the incident happened again, and according to eyewitnesses, it was almost identical. There are a few scattered accounts of similar things happening in other villages, but information is pretty scarce. About this event, a lot of historians say that based on the descriptions that are given, perhaps the woman was European, maybe British or even American, but most likely Russian. However, that doesn't explain what exactly the ship is, and I mean, just look at it. Other people claim that the entire story is simply fabricated, a legend, or folklore. One reason for this is because the two villages in which the incident supposedly took place, Haratonohama and Harayadori, don't actually exist on modern or historical maps. This could be due to human error, the villages being too small or insignificant to include on a map, or simply just being lost to history. The second is the Hopei incident. According to the story behind the photo, in 1942, 
An American man was traveling in the Hopei province of China and saw a mysterious flying object, so he snapped a picture of it. The photo was then purchased by a Japanese man and later publicized by his son, Masajiro Kiru, who found the photo while looking through his father's things. Again, information is pretty scarce on the story, and all the sources literally say the exact same thing. Like, literally. I've tried to research Masujiro Kiru, and I couldn't find anything on him, besides, of course, the story of the photo. So the legitimacy of the story is in question. It's been said that two people in this photo are pointing at the flying object, but honestly I can't tell myself. If you can see them, let me know in the comments where they are, because it just seems too low quality to tell. This next incident took place over Fukuoka, Japan, known as the Fukuoka UFO Incident, taking place on October 15, 1948. An American pilot was flying a P-61 Black Widow when it picked up an unidentified target on its radar flying at a modest 200 miles per hour. As far as I know, this is the first time a UFO has been picked up on radar. Of course, the pilots tried to get in contact with the unidentified craft, but every time it would get closer than 12,000 feet, the unidentified object would accelerate to 1,200 miles an hour, an insane speed that humans wouldn't be able to reach until 1957 in the McDonnell F-101A voodoo. The crew said they attempted contact with the unidentified craft six times, but each time it would quickly do a 180 degree turn and dive under the P-61 at high speeds. They said that the craft was about 20 to 30 feet long and looked like a rifle bullet. One user on the AboveTopSecret.com forums hypothesized that the plane could have been the top secret Bell X-1 which Chuck Yeager could fly at 900 miles per hour. And coincidentally, Yeager flew the plane for the very first time on October 14th, 1947. The size of 30 feet long matches the unidentified craft's profile, as well as the iconic bullet shape of the X-1. Later models were eventually able to reach 1650 miles per hour. However, other users were quick to point out that the speed and maneuverability of the unidentified craft far outclassed the X-1, specifically the quick 180 turns as well as its rate of acceleration and deceleration. Not to mention that the X-1 was only capable of short distance flights and was only ever tested at the Maroc Air Force Base in California. The X-1 also uses a rocket engine, which means that, like a space rocket, it can only be used once and continues to accelerate until the fuel is depleted. Much has been discussed on the incident, but nothing has been conclusive, and I'm not sure anything ever will be. On April 26, 2015, unidentified lights were spotted in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to several witnesses, the motionless lights were simply floating in the night sky. There were initially only three forming a V formation, but soon after, seven more appeared. About five to eight minutes later, all the lights vanished, according to the witnesses. A video of the event was taken and was shared all over social media. After seeing the video, the National Meteorological and Hydrological Services of the Philippines, Pagasa, officially stated that it was impossible that the lights were coming from an airplane, a hot air balloon, or a drone due to the size of the lights. There were no tall buildings near the location the video was filmed either. Four years later, and this incident still remains shrouded in mystery. Finally, one of the most intriguing incidents in my opinion is the Hangzhou UFO sighting in China. This happened at 8.40 p.m. on July 7, 2010, at the Hangzhou Shaoshan International Airport. This one definitely deserves a place on the list because it prompted government action. The flight crew of a plane preparing for descent detected a mysterious floating object in the sky and quickly notified air traffic control. The airport was immediately shut down. All outgoing flights were grounded and 18 incoming flights were diverted to airports in Ningbo and Wuchi. Normal operations resumed an hour later, but nobody had any answers as to what it was. In the same year, another airport in Inner Mongolia was shut down for a similar phenomenon, and again in 2015. That makes three Chinese airports shut down by UFOs in five years, and nobody knows why. Military testing seems the most likely. There were also speculations that it could have been a missile, a satellite, or an aircraft, but no one knows for sure. Officials from the Civil Aviation Administration of China told the media that the incident was under investigation, but as far as I know, a conclusion was never publicly announced. While Asia has definitely seen more than these five UFO incidents, such as several more incidents in the Philippines, India, Indonesia, and other locations, at least to me, these five seem the most interesting and well documented. While working on this video, I've read through several dozen incidents, and honestly, a lot of them seem like terrible hoaxes to me, or obvious military testing. However, some of them just have me absolutely baffled. 
The Navy says it still doesn't know what the objects are, and officials aren't speculating. And I'm not really a conspiracy theorist, or even superstitious. They just leave me with no explanation. One would assume that, just as many other supernatural and unexplained phenomena, the more technologically advanced we become as a civilization, the more easily these mysteries can be disproved as hoaxes or easily explained as something natural or secret military testing. However, with UFOs, it seems like it's just the opposite. There are more and more reports of UFOs being made each year. Now most are later identified, but some simply can't be easily explained. The world seems like it's seeing more UFOs than ever before without any answers. And that begs the question, will extraterrestrial life ever be confirmed? And will we ever see them aliens before they see us? Only time will tell. What do you think? Are there really aliens out there? Do you think we should have stormed Area 51 to find out? Did I miss any other important UFO sightings in the Asian continent? What incidents do you think are the most interesting or unexplainable? Drop some comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and remember, 